day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you. Thank you for being out there, and let's get into this story. You know, as a lot of y'all know, I've been trying to dr stop drinking coffee, and it has been a struggle. When I say a struggle, I mean a struggle. Um, not only does it, you know, for those of y'all who know, um, it's pretty bad to realize if you haven't had something. It's like any other addiction. You begin to have headaches, whatnot. So it is an addictive substance, right? So I've just cut back instead of drinking a whole pot um, over a few hour period of time. I've, I've uh, cut that down to like, I think about two and a half cups now. Now, if I don't have any at all, I'll have a headache. And, I, and it's headaches are something that I never, ever get. Okay. So I have to be real with myself and be like, damn, you are addicted to this coffee. That's why this next story is so disturbing to me. Because as a fully grown adult, you know, I'm making this choice on my own, right? <coughs> <coughs> now, the story I read was about Amber Rose. Okay, now I don't want to hear the body say, well, that's her son. You know, he can do, you don't get the right to give your kids ad addictions. I mean, I'm dealing with somebody right now that I mentor and have since they were eight years old. And they've gone into adulthood now, but they were born with a body full of crack. And because of the one-on-one, -on -one, the extra commitment, the, I mean, it, it has been a struggle. But it is worth it because the person is a productive human being. Okay? But with that being said, that's not always the story. That's not always the case. Let's deal with that. That's not always what, what goes down. In this case right here, I feel really just disturbed by the whole thing because there's no way in hell this should be happening. This, you don't have the right, like I said, to ruin your children and give them addictions. Amber Rose admits that she let her four-year-old, Shank, whatever his name is, drink coffee every day insisting it isn't bad for him despite doctors or uh, issuing grave warnings against kids under 12 consuming caffeine. Now, Amber Rose made the admission during the appearance on Adam 22's podcast. She said she, that she and her son Slash have a cup of Joe together each morning. You can't figure out nothing. You can't be no more creative then to let him bond, you can't have no oval teen. Now that's probably old. Uh, hot chocolate, or well, you got to give him co coffee. You are one. You are you are a destructive parent, and I can see the handwriting on the wall. Okay, so if this little boy ends up having a bad heart, or having a situation where he falls out. It's a directly a f because his mama, his mother, is not very thoughtful of his life. And hopefully she won't call herself a good mother. Hopefully she'll know that she's just a selfish, um, dominating, controlling piece of crap. That's how she should see herself. I mean... My grandbaby asked me all the time, uh, can I have some coffee? No, she never eat. Let me Let me get that right. I asked her, would you like a cup of coffee with me? She'll be like, no, 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 I don't drink coffee. Okay. 
because that's a normal response, especially after you've told somebody enough that they can't have coffee. Okay? This little boy is this young and he's requesting it? Don't you see that as a problem? Okay. While chatting with the YouTuber and his porn star wife, Lena the Plug, Amber explained that she and her son Slash have a cup together each morning. And it's no big deal. Slash is four and he drinks coffee all the time. He has it every day. Me and my kids sit and we drink coffee, and we talk. I mean, she don't see nothing wrong with it. Nothing. Nothing. Well, it's not a big deal. It's really not. My four-year-old will be like, I want coffee with my breakfast. Okay. You know, while there are no federal guidelines when it comes to kids having coffee, the American Academy of Pediatrics has advised people against giving children um, under 12 any kind of caffeine. Hell, you might as well go on and give them a, um, what you call those things, those little drinks, Red Bull. Because children are smaller in body size, it takes less to impact their functionings. Hopkins um, Medical uh, dot org reported: Children and adolescents are still developing, and the impact of caffeine on their little nervous systems and cardiovascular systems is not really fully known. Too much caffeine can cause issues with increased anxiety, increased heart rate, and blood pressure. Acid reflux and sleep disturbance. Too much caffeine is dangerous for kids. And in a very in very high doses, it can lead to toxicity. It can be toxic. I wonder did, did, did her mother give her coffee? Or is this what something your new wave ass want to do? And experiment with your children. Oh. Caffeine is a stimulant that increases alertment. Kids are already alert. <sighs> I mean, if your child feels that he or she needs caffeine to get through the day, it would be a better option to work with your pediatrician and to um, identify the root cause of what's creating fatigue in the first place, not to give them caffeine. Um, I, I don't understand this. Amber shares Slash with music executive Alexander Edwards, who she dated from 2018 to 2021. She is has another son named Sebastian, 10, who she welcomed with rapper Wiz Khalifa in 2013 who is the child's father, allegedly. Y'all probably saying, what? Yeah. Look more like the chauffeur to me. Anyway, the gotcha songstress left Adam and Lena, who have a three-year-old daughter named Parker, completely stunned by her revelation. She told the couple, I mean, I don't want to say it like, go do extra crazy, you know, to your daughter. But, like, she'll be okay. Amber added that coffee isn't the only thing she's lax about, admitting that she also lets her kids drink Coca-Cola and go crazy with their Halloween candy. Okay. Okay. During that chat, the artist revealed that her eldest son knows about her OnlyFans profile. This is a person that wants to be her kid's friend. She doesn't want the responsibility of rules, boundaries, and limitations that it takes to be a parent. And, you know, I, I, I just get real ticked off with stories like this. You know, 
Ooh. I, I'm I'm just really I'm just really ticked off by it. So I don't know, maybe it's me, which I doubt. But what y'all think? Y'all think a kid four years old should be drinking some damn coffee? Y'all do that is that okay with y'all now? Is this the new thing? Hmm. All right, I like to hear what you think. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.